stylish as always. <laughs> of course. Talk about the feel right now. I mean, right? This is this is. I mean, it's not the ultimate goal, but this is one of those tick marks along the way, right? What's what's the feel right now ahead of your first main event? Uh, for the beginning, when I heard about it, of course, I got super excited, and uh, plus a little bit of the pressure before I was filling in from the Georgia, you know, like the to represent the first time, it's a big deal for us. Uh, but now it's a part of the job. I've been in the big shows before in kickboxing. Uh, I had lined the glory a couple of events, and um, here now we're here. It's just, uh, just a part of the job. But I'm enjoying, man. I'm enjoying, and when I'm enjoying and when I'm happy, oh, that's when I'm the most dangerous guy, so. That's awesome. Have you, has it been a bother? I mean, I know you end, you end up with, like, added responsibilities, right? Like, more media, more things to do. Has it, has it been a bother for you, or is it, you, you got it down? No, I don't think so. I feel like uh, I'm enjoying it, you know? It's, it was a dream always for me. Uh, since I was a kid, I wanted the big crowd. I wanted uh, all the media attention. And I know I deserve it too, you know, I just, I, I'm excited to show you guys even more and now just taking uh, the chance to enjoy this moment and keep moving forward. It's been a, an impressive run so far in the UFC, right? Not many people come in and win as many fights in a row as you have to start their UFC career. So what do you think that the key has been for your, for your success so far? Um, I had a couple of winning streaks before, and uh, in Contender Series, I witnessed a uh, losing fight. And since then, I changed a lot. That moment, I was uh, fighting in kickboxing. Pretty much, I was getting paid from kickboxing to invest my money into MMA career. Because I, I live here with my family, with two kids and wife, you know, and I, I needed, uh, I didn't have a chance to just to be the evolving MMA, so I had to do jiu-jitsu with white belt I started, competing in blue belts and purple belts. I got my walls in blue belts, which people don't know about it. Then I went, went um, so it, it, it was a hard journey first, and once I lost the fight, I said that, no, I have to retire from kickboxing, because uh, once I retired, I concentrated more on this jiu-jitsu and ground game, more on the wrestling. Went in a college wrestling I started. Went with the young kids, you know, some people, like the parents would come and see, like, who's this weird 30-year-old man? Like, they're wrestling with my 12-year-old kid, you know? But um, I knew that it was a part. I had to do it. And uh, slowly, I concentrated more I mean, after Contender Series, I had a lot of uh, hard times, you know. I didn't, I didn't know what I was going to do, what I would do, because I say no to Glory, I say no to Bellator, I say no to Ryzen, I say no to Karate Combat, and uh, because all my plans were UFC, and then I lost Contender Series. I was in a hard position, definitely. But uh, once I concentrated on the, this small small big problems which I had before, everything went fine. I'm in the best camp, I'm in the best team now, uh, and uh, all these, uh, my teammates sharing my knowledge, my coaches, I feel like I'm in the best spot right now and getting every day a little bit better and better. Question. Well, obviously, I know you would fight anybody, uh, but this matchup, when it was announced, people were pretty excited about it because of the styles. Did it excite you as well? I mean, did, did it bring a little like, oh, yeah, this is going to be this is going to be fun? Uh, definitely. Man. Edson is a big name. It's a bigger name than some of the top five guys. I was calling out top five names because I wanted <laughs> to move forward to the title quicker, faster which is fair, you know, when you have the, some nice winning streak. And, when, and also what I've done in, uh, people forget sometimes what I've done in my sports career. You know, I was a couple of times world champion in karate, a couple of times world champion kickbox, kickboxing. But I'm talking about highest level, you know. I'm not talking just a regular the home uh, backyard kickboxing fights, you know. So, yeah, it's... Uh, I wanted to have a ranked higher opponent, but Edson is a big name, 
And once I pass this um, challenge, then I'm ready for whatever, man, like even, even the highest level. Did you watch him? Like, I mean, have you watched his career? He seems like the kind of fighter that you would tune into and be like, hey, I, I like his style. I know this guy very well. I know what he brings on the table. He fought my teammate, my brother. And uh, this is also the, which really bothers me since that time. And uh, it kind of feels like a rematch to me. Uh, yeah, I mean, he's a, he's a nice, entertaining style, you know, like the, the people call him the best striker in MMA and the UFC, till I come, you know. And now I'm here, I have a chance to prove it, what I've said. And uh, excited, man, really excited, because the fans going to enjoy, fans going to remember this fight as one of the best fights. I believe he's going to come strong, I believe he's going to bring his... 100% game, but as I said, striking for MMA is one thing, but striking, highest level striking, when you are, when you're proven in a different sport, different, like highest stages you, when you've been, it's different, man. I feel like he gonna, he gonna feel that, oh, that's not who I am in real. Of course, definitely he's a very good striker, but I don't see the fight go anywhere that I can lose. I, I'm, I'm just being honest. We'll see. We'll see. But, um, yeah. I was going to say, we'll well, say, what kind of fight do you see? Because, you know, you talk about how much you've improved your wrestling and your grappling. And he's shown that that's a weakness throughout his career, right? People have been able to outgrapple him. So, in some ways, it might be like, hey, let's have a, we could outgrapple this guy pretty easily. But knowing your pedigree in striking, yeah. are you wanting to go out there and show the world that, you know, I, I'm the best striker? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, that's a, that's a whole challenge. That's why I accept the uh, Edson fight. You know, uh, he, people call him the best striker inside UFC, and uh, I want to take his title. Uh, what was a BMF belt? Now it's like the best striker belt, maybe, <laughs> or something like that. Uh, it's a real Mortal Kombat fight. I feel like uh, two ninjas gonna go there, and uh, gonna be fun. Uh, yeah, I'm excited, man. Really, really. Can't wait. Like, I have goosebumps when I think about it. And just want to show fans who I am in the rail. Because I was saying, if you remember the back in the days, like a couple of, maybe a year ago, that their fans only have seen this amount of Giga. And now they're going to see more and more. Now I have an opponent who brings uh, something really entertaining that when I bring something against him, the big, then people can stamp and say that, yeah, you were right. So every time I fought before, like people were saying that, oh, Giga fought uh, cans uh, or something, smashing the cans and stuff, which is not true. I was fighting one of the really good fighters. Yeah, there's some cases where like short notice for them, but at the same time, short notice was for me too. So yeah, I mean, it is what it is, right? Last thing for me, uh, as you said, big name here. Uh, I think it's going to be an entertaining fight. It's a main event. I mean, everything's good. There's definitely going to be big opportunities for you after a win here. So what is the plan after this? Is it chase after those top five guys again? Is it uh, stay ready to fight every week? Like, I think you'd probably fight next week if you could. What's, what's the plan after this one? This time I'll be different. I'm going to say this. Uh, first thing first, I know I have a... Good challenge because what I've said, I have to prove it. I'm the man of my words. And once I prove it, Saturday night, we're going to talk again. Thank you for taking the time to, to meet with us. My pleasure. So, Thanks. this is for the BMF S belt, so the best <laughs> striker. How has training been for this one? Because this is a five round main event, or have you ever been told, hey, you might replace somebody, get ready for 25 minutes? What's been the changes? Uh, acclimating, training, all that good stuff for 25 versus 15. Definitely. I fought a five-round fight in kickboxing, but this is absolutely different thing. Uh, and um, camp was a little different. We had a little bit more time to prepare as well. And it was a challenging, you know, for the beginning, always some little bit of the injury comes and you overcome. But it's a two-month camp, you know, when you have a two months, of course there will be something injuries also. 
but um, I'm glad it was the beginning of the camp, not later. So everything went well. Uh, cardio training was really fun because uh, everyone was talking about before my lack of a cardio, like last year maybe. And this time I was pushing crazy. We would change a little bit of program. We added some rounds. Let's say if I was training like sprints for 20 minutes, now we're doing 30. Like we, we grow everything. And it's really, you can really see how I progressed. Uh, besides it, let's say if we were sparring the five round, now uh, we did 10, you know, like uh, it, it was a fun. It was definitely a fun. And uh, I also felt a lot of uh, love and support from my team, which I'm really blessed and uh, appreciate all of them. Uh, yeah, well, also, uh, my diet's been really good. Uh, be back, like, uh, November fight last year when I fought, I made the weight like eight days or something. It was crazy. I was from almost 180 and I came down to 145. Uh, so it was really crazy. Now this time I'm the very light and uh, feeling very strong, feeling very good, happy. That's excellent. And you, you touched on that briefly. Up in early in camp, injury? I can talk about this later I after understand. the fight, but definitely it's a, always a challenge uh, to stay when you have a long camp, which I never had before. Right. I mean, with the Cub, I had a little bit of time, definitely, but before that fight, uh, I did not really had some time to prepare well. Only like a week, 10 day, 12 day, 12 days was a max or something. Um, and. Uh, now it's been really smooth cuts, you know, but besides, yeah, camp was fun, fun, I would say like that. That's great to hear. That's the most dangerous you mentioned when you're having fun. Yeah. Uh, something real interesting, you mentioned this is like a rematch. So you're saying you're going in with a little bit of an extra edge because you've already, your teammate has already seen Edson, so you have some tape, you know what to expect. Yeah, definitely. I was his sparring partner, my, my brother's sparring partner. We were preparing together for this fight, you know. I'm pretty much like I was a fake Edson at that time. <laughs> um, yeah, man, I never really talk about that loud, but that day after the Edson knockout that day, I was feeling so bad, almost I uh, had the heart problems that day, you know. Uh, my brother was winning the fight and uh, some firework happened. Congrats to Edson, but now I feel very mad on that. I mean, since then. So we'll see. Yeah. Excellent. Well, it's, it's real scary when someone smiles and they're looking for revenge. So good luck on Saturday, sir. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yes, sir. Quick question over here for all the uh, UFC sneakerheads in the world. I see you're rocking the Chunky Dunks today out there <laughs> from Nike. Are you a full-blown sneakerhead or just rocking it because it fit the fit? Um, I'm a little bit sneakerhead, yeah, definitely. I have some nice collection. Shout out to Riff LA. Um, yeah, I have my people there who hook me up all the time. Uh, some new new Travis Scott I just got. I want to rock on a fight day later. Oh! <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah. Nicely done. Nicely done. Good luck on Saturday. Thank you. <laughs> Shout out to all my team, Kings MMA, Chase Your Dreams, Michael Perez Wrestling, everyone who helped me, and my sponsors, Acharabet, uh, Petrocas, uh, Models Company, uh, who, will ha who we have else, uh, Saigon Sports Club, definitely Monsters. Thanks for support. Take care, guys.